Fantastic, hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal hardest, hardest difficulty with everything cranked up. It is career mode. We are in the third solar system and we got our first flashpoint active. We got the prototype flashpoint and we're trying to get that sweet, sweet raven. So it's time for the next mission as we've been asked to interrupt a convoy and a convoy we shall interrupt we got potential payment of 500,000 <clears throat> or 12 salvage and i think we're going for the salvage here i'm pretty sure that we're only going to fight against medium max but maybe there will be one that we can salvage so in good faith, we are going for maximum salvage. Badlands as a biome is not the best one for us, as we theoretically are running a lot of um, laser weapons, so there is a potential to overheat. However, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, the main idea will be to focus on the convoy and then eventually kill the bodyguards. Good time to land and see if we can do the mission. Second mission of this flashpoint is typically a bit easier than the first one. The third one will be the crooks. So it's the same canyon that you are already aware of. And we've landed far, far behind. So our idea is to use all of our speed on my way. that we do have available. Stay on the road here and get as close as possible to the actual convoy. We're potentially going to fight a nasty battle. And the only real threat that I've encountered here you betcha. was being too slow to actually catch up with the enemies. So if you take too much time to not move there fast enough, you might end up in the situation where they are just passing by. I'll keep the high ground here. And Lily with the fire starter just moves in and runs all the way up to the front. Location confirmed. Fantastic. Good. We got a couple of five initiative enemies. So these are light mechs. Holy shit. These are a lot of light mechs and all of them seem to be high level pilots. Elsewise, they wouldn't get the trade of being at five initiative. Unless there is a... And that's very unrealistic. Unless there is one of... Uh, uh, there is one, um, another mech or another vehicle that has a plus one initiative generating item but that is super rare and it is typically just in one of uh, the assault mix i'm not seeing an assault mix here so for whatever i'm concerned i'll assume all of the pilots are potentially higher in level which is unfortunate for us Hawkbite moves up and the mobile HQ takes some solid damage. Ready for order. Location confirmed. Bradford moves up and this should be a kill. Primary target is taking damage. There we go. That's the first one down. One more for the trash Good nice. to go. Orders. Good. Although the hit chance is a bit lower because we have cover here, Locked on I still wanted to stay back. I hear ya. Good. 
Good. So I'd be careful. There can still be a few enemies that could hit us. Nah. I want us to be a target, but I want us to be a bad target. I want them to really work hard to hit us. And all of those three are currently too far away, so... Perfect. Lily is tanking them very well. Mox, on the other hand, moves up to the striker. Oh, that's an SRM-6 and LRM-10 striker. I don't like that. We gotta kill it before it's uh, the striker's turn. But all of our mechs will act before it's the striker's turn. Do we want to move Lily? We still got quite a few enemies and three evasion blips. We'll put it on reserve. That means two of them will take shots at Lily. Or not. That's even better. The commando, javelin. What else do we have? Looks like another commando. Armor's holding, commander. Nothing to see here. Yeah. Commando, Commando, Javelin, Javelin. That's okay. Standing by. So we gotta get in range of this guy. Uh, I don't like. Good to go. I don't like that. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, taking the high ground here. We really want to go all out. Both of the shots hit, the striker would be dead. So might as well give it a try. There we go. That was well worth it, because that guy would have been fast. a pain in the rear. Full movement for two evasion blips. And that's a 50% chance. The commando is a good target. Might as well go for it. Commando lost one of its arms. Ready for order. What is a good place? I would like to retain the high ground if possible. That's decent, 50% chance, still a little bit higher. Got to be careful with our heat. Want to keep it low for now until we got better odds. Roger. Perfect. Target that guy is heavily injured. It's now going down. Pilot seems to be incapacitated, that means technically he should be out. And that is a massive SRM battery, SRM carrier. And that's an LRM carrier. Oh boy, we gotta deal with both of these guys. Holy shit, that is not funny. LRM carrier, SRM carrier. <laughs> That is not funny at all. Okay, moving up so that we hopefully 
can take a bit of uh, the damage. Eighty percent shot missed. I moved the panther here so that we can tank a bit with it uh, whilst the vindicator kind of recovers. What can I do for you? I would like Lily to first of all stay up there. Maybe she can draw some more fire. Okay, Panther takes some damage. Structure exposed, but not fully there yet. It's okay. Reporting minimal damage. Okay, fantastic. Well, so far so good. Hogbite moves over. Aye, aye. And let's maybe start over here. We got a weak right arm, which means our left arm needs to be up front. So we're tendentially moving in that direction. Okay, cool. I can work with that. Vigilance gets uh, stability and we can uh, deal with potential impacts in this here should hopefully deal enough damage it does not that is unfortunate good hogbite moves further to the front All weapons committed. fully unloading uh fully unloading Enemy and the guy is almost down detected. i hear ya But we're jumping down mainly to gain their attention. I don't think that we'll get through the L LRM carrier. Yeah, just minor damage there. Luckily, we have such a nice evasion that we're still doing well Reporting. but make Not no mistakes the SRM uh, carrier is nasty okay all right that just left uh, lost the left arm of our panther commander I'm there Good, we're bracing, because elsewise we would be pushed over and that would almost 100% uh, mean that we're going to take even more damage. Reporting. Minimal damage. Waiting for orders. Can move all the way up to here. Locking in coordinates. And let's continue our focus Roger to get that. the guy down. There we go. Pilot down. Hostile removed. Gotta deal with those two uh, carriers here. It's just too much damage, specifically the LRM one. Damage minimal. Commander? Sticking in reserve.
Well, it is what it is. We can't potentially can't kill the we potentially can't kill the LRM carrier, but we might be able to take out the SRM carrier. Repositioning, dangerous because we only have one um, evasion blip here. Affirmative. But that should kill the vehicle. Okay, perfect. So we got another Affirmative LRM kill. south coming in. And you can see just how much damage it does. It's Where not even funny. Waiting for orders. Move All right, order. that's our side which is not fully damaged aye, aye. yet. Ouch. Waiting for orders. All right, just wait a second. This guy left side has a problem. Here we go. Moving up. Seventeen. I will overheat because I think that that's the right play. My hip gets uh, pretty high. Didn't even hit the left hand side. Too bad. Okay, we definitely need to work with Bradford. Lot is on the line for him. So let's entrance and just wait for now. Hawkbite hopefully will be able to deal with this guy. Again, overheating. Normally I don't like to overheat. But we had so much damage going on. That little bit of overheating was necessary. Commander? Moving up, racing just to get the heat down. Rear attacks, we still have plenty of armor here, so we should be fine. Panther doesn't want to deal with either of these guys, so Roger just moving that. away for now. And we're bracing to get the heat down. Standing by. Bradford has a solid left arm, so he is technically interested to move like that. Javelin takes a good amount of damage and is reduced. So we're going to focus our attention definitely on this guy Minor here. Damage, Commander. Good to go. Order. On my way. Let's reduce his initiative even further so that we can actually kill it. Target is for an alpha strike. Solid connection on that one. Commander? Lily's right arm, left arm, 
is under fire, so we're offering the right arm for this javelin here. At the same time, we're trying to hit the javelin over there. Fortunately, a miss. But we still got two more full yeah, salvos to go. Alright, moving over. Don't want to continue to overheat. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Move order received. One less laser and let's destroy this guy. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Focus fire definitely paid out well. Okay, so moving up. And we're slightly overheating. My flamer is empty. It's getting pretty hot in here, Commander. At the same time. Well, let's move a bit closer. I'd like to use the S SRMs. Yep, that okay. looks like a decent I'm position. On. Okay, I'm on. Good, here we go. Reducing his initiative and also reducing his Commander. stability. I copy. The hot biome makes it difficult for us to continue staying in the battle. That's why we're like slightly on the brink of overheating. Good to go. Moving to position. Ugh! Fantastic. Yes, Commander. Good. The guy's almost down. If we can hit. Yeah, it would have knocked uh, him further down. And that was a costly mission, but I think overall one that worked out well. The true enemies had been the SRM carrier, the SM SRM boat, and the LR. LRM boat. Three LRM 20s is nuts. That was a lot of damage. And there was only so much I could do. Like I was already moving in their direction. They, as long as they see you, if you have two, three LRM 20s, they will deal a lot of damage unless you're continuously sprinting. But even then you've seen just how much stability damage they can, they can dish out. So yeah, we are in a moderately good shape let's see we could get an entire commando if we so desired we got LRM 20s available several medium lasers SRM 6s I'm not sure if we want another commando yeah it's it's not that great. Let's get an LRM 20 for later. And a medium laser because we still need more medium lasers. Got even more medium lasers and a couple of SRMs. So it was good loot overall. Really solid. Wow, still can't believe just how much damage we took with that LRM and shot twice, no thrice, 
and every single time someone either got knocked down or lost an arm or lost a lot of armor. Good, so... We've got a new task. We gotta get um, that prototype out of a massive defended base. Prototype is called Raven. And I think we got a decision to make soon. Oh no, we're automatically uh, getting that. And if my memory serves me well, the next mission effectively forces us to use their mechs, right? Hmm. I was under the impression that we could take their mechs. Maybe that was the fourth mission. Yeah, I think it, it's a long time that I played that one. Prototype has potentially four uh, episodes. Let's take a look at where we stand from a repair point. So that would be three days. That's another three days. Panther looks really bad. Firestarter looks so and so. That's like, what, four days? Five days, wow, okay. Hmm, difficult decision. Are we just... accepting all of that, or are we continuing? I think we can continue taking the Vulcan as, Vulcan as well. The Vulcan just has no firepower, that's my main concern here. Not sure if I'm allowed to feel uh, the Panther, but we might find out in a second. Uh, it's another pretty solid salvage available 12 is not too bad but the money is potentially even better so let's go for 700,000 can only theoretically field the Vulcan and I think that's exactly what we're going to do deploying the Vulcan and going for it. All right. Let's capture a base, guys. I am stingy on the repair time, so this might be fun. I need to play it clean, that's for sure. Good, here we go. Command interface initiated. Landed in the middle of the city. Sweet place. Really sweet. Ah, uh, that's already the last mission. Oh boy. And we are in bad shape. Well, let's go. Good. Let's uh -huh. keep everything in reserve. If you thought that the mission beforehand was bad, believe me, it can be much, much worse. I'm wounded. Oh, Mox got wounded for the first time. Reserve an action. 
because those miss missiles will be coming over and over and over and over. All right, fantastic. Hawkwide moves in and hopefully kills the striker right away. Enemy unit destroyed. Standing by. What can I do for you? Good. Can we jump on either of these buildings? Answers potentially not. Yes, commander. Vulcan moves up, and this here could be an interesting position. Receiving you. All right, not a perfect shot, but good I enough, you. I would say. Can move up to here. Heading out. And hopefully take this guy out. Confirm. There we go. One more down. Reporting one less vehicle. Good to go. Okay, we can sprint up. Mainly to draw attention from their uh -huh. side. Billy is tanking as always. I'll wait here for now. Gotta be careful. Vulcan definitely Damage needs to get off of this rooftop. It's a better position. And let's start hitting this guy. Commander. Good. Redford moves up. That building is absolutely in the way. Taking the shot. I could do this all day. Hawkbite can now move in. And let's try to hit that scorpion. 240 armor. That's a lot. So let's focus our shots on one side. Fantastic. Well, that worked like a charm. Last time that I played this mission, I swear that I was playing with pre gen Max. I'm not 100% sure why they were not offering that. And we were definitely not just fighting vehicles. Might not be the last mission. Might not be the last mission. I think the last mission is the one with pre-generated um, mechs. Waiting for orders. All right, we're putting that on reserve. Couple of things here. We're starting with the Vindicator. Moving nicely into cover. Engaging with target. And that get ri gets rid of all of the towers. Phenomenal. Taking. We're taking uh, cover behind the building here. 
And we definitely need to pacify it uh, from all of the towers first. Good. Taking cover again behind here. And the Vulcan just moves in and waits for now. One of the towers ceases. That is good. And we can now slowly but surely move in. Maximum speed. I think one more round holding action, Commander. of just holding action will be fine. Done. Sounds smart. Cooling. Good. Everybody's cooled down now. And Hawkbite starts moving in. Let's get that Shredder Tower down. Very good. One less. Target destroyed. Got something you want done? I think we should be good to go. Only two more towers, yeah. This base should be ours. If I'm not mistaken, there was another lance that was coming in yeah as you can tell Order. it's been a while since i played this mission Double time. Let's go. i'm picking up a new sensor trace looks like enemy reinforcements yeah okay i was right careful here so i can this stuff explodes Good. Yet another tower down. Target destroyed. Good to go. Moving up and Target let's locked. get the last tower down. One less turret. Waiting for orders. I leap. Lily jumps up. Good to go. And maybe the Vulcan standard loadout is better than I would have given it credit for. It's not fantastic, but to be honest, the previous loadout that we had was not great by any stretch of the imagination, right? So what do we have here? Ooh, a Wolverine. That is a nasty companion. And we got a second unknown mech right there. Moving up, a flea, okay. Well, Engaging target. trying to hit it and hit it well. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Waiting for orders. That right flea down. certainly has a problem now because we are very much able to hit it. There we go, leg is gone. Report Fell down, that also means all of the evasion is gone. And very soon we're going to rip it to shreds. Wait, now, in the meantime, he has a problem, the Wolverine, that is, he just doesn't know it yet. Time to fly. And here is what his problem is all about. He's standing on that building. Ready for orders. And very, very soon, that'll collapse. Aye, aye. And he will just fall down. His four what? evasion oh. stacks mean nothing. Took a lot of falling damage. And what we can do... I 
I don't want to stand on a building myself. But it is not a bad spot. So maybe I will. No sweat. Let's reduce this initiative even further. Firing everything I've got. All right, the flea stands up, has lost one of its legs, which is reducing the speed massively. And once a flea cannot no longer move adequately, it is doomed to die. So that would be one shot. And we wouldn't even reach the Wolverine. Roger. Hey. Roger Hitting the fly. And that worked quite well. One left target. Okbite potentially moves up, and that could be a nice hit. The ability of uh, the guy is low. Engaging target. Stability of the guy is even lower now. Fire and jump jet. Fantastic. Vulcan gets up here. You got it. And thanks to the extended range of his sh uh, short range weapons, he's able to hit everybody. Well, Reno, on the other hand, looks plenty, uh, plenty full annoyed of all that jumping around. Moving up. And we are going to precision strike so that his initiative goes down even further. Want some more, huh? Fantastic. Good. Ogbite moves in. All weapons committed. Full throttle. And the guy is knocked down, finally. That means everybody else now gets free shots. I get you on the move. Let's try to destroy his legs if possible. Apparently we hit everything but his legs. Good. We can still hit him from here thanks to our extended range. Fire all weapons. That's a critical hit. He even has heat problems from the few flamers that we have used. Oh, and that was a mistake. Potentially his last. Because now we can destroy the building and he will just die first of all let's reduce this initiative yeah that was easy and that building is destroyed the guy drops down both legs are destroyed, which means we could completely salvage it, but we've I, we've we've taken monetary rewards. So mission successful. Cool. I would have wanted to loot that Wolverine. That's a nice little mech, one of the better medium mechs.
cool. We got success plus 10% for the destruction of the garrison plus 10 for the base turret. So we're at 800,000 payout and the Vulcan has done very well, very well. We're up 3 million credits. That whole flesh point is definitely worth the time that we are investing in it. Good, and that here is the consecutive uh, deployment that I was talking about. I would potentially end today's broadcast here and we're going to look into the final mission the next time that we're that we're playing we've now officially stolen the raven and uh, together with uh, conqueror here uh, viscasha and peregrine so all three of the characters that were uh, fighting over uh, that guy were supposed to rescue it by kind of being the only pilot that we can take in the actual raven and if you look at the other um, pilots for once we do have almost fully leveled um, uh, mech pilots which will be fun to play with but yeah that's the fourth mission and it is difficult uh, not impossible but certainly difficult and it always retains the difficulty because you kind of have that standard loadout of uh, mechs that you need to take into it anyways that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode thank you for watching guys I appreciate your support. Please leave a comment and a like down below and see you in two days uh, for the next dose of Battletech. Bye-bye.